The Ukrainian armed forces operation in Russia's Kursk region probably helped achieve a strategic goal. It made possible negotiations based on a mutual exchange of lands, writes the American magazine Foreign Policy. The publication noted that such negotiations establish a reliable third way out of this war when Ukraine's capitulation is excluded and a complete victory is currently unlikely. As the magazine emphasized, the West agrees that Ukraine and Russia will ultimately have to sit down at the negotiating table and make concessions in order to end the war. And as long as Ukrainian troops maintain a presence on Russian territory, Moscow will not be able to claim any victory in the war, the article says. By occupying Russian territory, at least in theory, Kyiv has created a precedent by which it can end the war in its favor, the magazine writes. It is noted that a Ukrainian theory of victory has emerged in the Kursk region. In Ukraine, they expect that they will be able to exchange the occupied Russian lands for their own. The operation in the Kursk region, at the very least, has significantly strengthened Ukraine's position in any future negotiations, foreign policy added. Recently, the commander of the Ukrainian army, Sergei Korotkik, who is participating in the battles in the Kursk region, explained in detail what tasks the Ukrainian armed forces operation on Russian territory is solving. Firstly, it demonstrated the ability of Ukrainian fighters to defeat numerically superior enemy forces. Secondly, it forced the Russian Federation to transfer about 50,000 invaders to the Russian region and to attract paratroopers and marines to confront the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region, the fighter said. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said that Ukrainian forces were maintaining sufficient pressure on Russian troops in Russia's Kursk region, where Kyiv launched a mass incursion in August. Fighting is now going on in the Kursk region for a third month, and we are maintaining the necessary pressure on Russia in this sector, Zelensky said in his video address after a meeting with senior commanders. Ukrainian forces seized dozens of villages in Kursk region on Russia's border with Ukraine, though Moscow says some of the territory has since been recaptured. Russian troops, in the meantime, are advancing in areas in Donetsk region to the south, the main focal point of Moscow's Ukraine campaign. Paris will transfer Mirage 2000 fighters to Kiev in January-March 2025. This was announced by French Defense Minister Sebastien Lecornu. The deliveries of Mirage 2000 fighters to Ukraine are planned for the first quarter of 2025. They will be equipped with new air-to-ground weapons and electronic warfare systems, the head of the French Ministry of Defense said. He also noted that Paris continues to carry out training activities for Ukrainian mechanics and pilots. Mirage 2000 is a French fourth-generation multi-role fighter aircraft developed in 1976. From 1984 to 2007, it was the main combat aircraft of the French Air Force. The first fighter models entered service in 1983 and entered combat duty in 1984. Earlier, Defense Minister Rustam Yumarov said Ukraine has an agreement to receive Dessau Mirage 2000 jets. He didn't provide a timeline. According to the minister, Ukraine is in talks to acquire Swedish-made Saab JAS-39 Gripen and the Eurofighter Typhoon fighters. Soon we'll have results to announce, Yumarov said. We worked last year on pilot training, on building all the necessary infrastructure, and this year we will focus on how to scale it up enough to have an advantage over the enemy in the air," the minister said. French President Emmanuel Macron announced on June 6 that an unspecified number of Mirage 2000-5 fighter jets would be transferred to Ukraine, but did not provide a timeline. Iranian President Massoud Pazeshkian criticized Israel on Tuesday, describing its government as barbaric. Europe and America have placed a barbaric government here, and some people who claim to support human rights defend it, Pazeshkian said. 
He made the comments on Tuesday during a ceremony to unveil clay tablets from the Achaemenid Empire. The tablets have been recently returned by the US to Iran. Last week, Iran launched a barrage of some 180 ballistic missiles at Israel. Iran said it was in retaliation for a series of devastating blows Israel has landed in recent weeks against the Iran-backed militant group Hezbollah in Lebanon, which has been firing rockets into Israel since the war in Gaza began. It was the latest in a series of rapidly escalating attacks between Israel and Iran and its Arab allies that threatens to push the Middle East closer to a region-wide war. Israel has vowed to respond to the missile attack, without saying when or how. حکومت وحشی رو اینجا گذاشتن اروپا و آمریکا و, و یه آدمایی که دم از حقوق بشر میزنن ازش دفاع میکنن هیچ چارچوب انسانی رو مراعات نمیکنه زن و بچه و پیر و جوان رو راحت بمباران میکنه آقای این موضوع خیلی جالبه دم از حقوق بشر میزنن میگن شما چرا یه قاتل رو اعدام میکنید کسی نیست به این نامردا بگه چرا شما زن و بچه رو بی گناه میکشید